Alrighty, Capricorn, so this is going to be your reading for October 29th through November 2nd. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber. And if you're new, welcome to the tribe. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe so that you can join the tribe. And yeah, we're going to hop straight in. If you're interested in getting your own personal reading, if you do have personal concerns that I do not mention in this video, uh, definitely check out my information below if you're interested in purchasing one of my goddess boxes which I kind of showed in a separate video um, where I went through all the context of the goddess box uh, definitely email me or check out the site I will have smaller boxes listed on there because this one is pretty expensive alrighty but yes if you need a personal reading if you want to join my tarot class which is still open enrollment definitely again email me and yeah let's see what's popping so this is going to be a new love spread so we're going to use the romance angel cards to kind of see what love's coming in for you for this week and then we're going to go ahead and use my regular tarot to go ahead and do the spread so yeah let's get into it so what new love is coming in for my Capricorns for October 29th through November 2nd? October 29th through November 2nd for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Capricorns. What new love is coming in for them? So we have, ooh, pay attention to the red flags, romantic feelings, and we have soulmate. Then bottom of the deck, we do have religious factors. So, for some of you Capricorns, uh, there is some red flags that you do need to make sure that you're not overlooking, especially if things seem a little off with the situation. Make sure that you are not turning a blind eye to it. And also be very cautious when it comes to your approach with anybody new that's coming in or anybody from your past also, okay? Because this is, you know, the Venus retrograde. So definitely possible that somebody could be coming back from the past that may, you know, spark some red flags that you need you need to pay attention to. But I am seeing that there is romantic feelings here. This may very well be a soulmate for some of you guys. But there is a connection here. But I think that religious factors could also be another issue within this connection. Whether it's age, um, belief system ways of seeing and doing things whatever it may be alrighty that may be causing some sort of separation in the future or this may have already caused a separation and this could very well be somebody from your past but we're gonna go ahead and see through a spread oh yeah also if you are somebody who needs extra love advice or lifestyle advice um and you're a woman or you know males can definitely check out my channel too but if you're a woman and you'd like to check out my channel, um, my second channel, it's Galactic Goddess TV, and I'll actually link it up above, okay? So definitely make sure that you guys sub subscribe over there too. We're going to be dropping some really nice information over there. But let's get into it. Alrighty, so please give me a seven card spread, please, for my Capricorns for October 29th through... November 2nd, October 29th through November 2nd. Give me a romance tarot card spread. A seven card spread, please, for my Capricorns. For October 29th through November 2nd. So some of you guys are really torn between your emotional needs and how you feel mentally. Also, there could be issues with you being able to see where somebody else is coming from or somebody unable to really see where you're coming from when it comes to your perspective on situations. Um, also, there may be issues with a lack of equal give and take within a relationship. You could be dealing with another earth sign or you guys may be having issues with that. Um, but yeah, I am seeing that too. So let's lay these cards out. One, two, three four, five, six, seven. Okay, Capricorns. 
Okay, so for the first card that I pulled, uh, this is going to cover whether or not a new relationship or a new romance is possible in the future. And I do have the full card. So this is a very positive card. This is saying that there is a chance for you to go out there and take a leap of faith. But this could also foretell that you need to make sure that you're not making any foolish decisions when you do go out there and try to get back in the dating world if you are somebody who has taken a break from that. Um, but... This is talking about you actually taking that leap of faith, you actually going out there, but being cautious about where you, you know, step and where you go to, okay? And clarifying that, I do have the, yeah, the Eight of Swords. So you may be feeling very trapped to a situation mentally, but you can really untrap yourself and actually go out there and have a new beginning for yourself. It's just a matter of how much you're going to... risk or if you're ready to risk it all alrighty also you do need to have an a have a awakening for some of you guys you need to have an awakening when it comes to your situation okay but um what I am seeing for whether or not there's a new love um or whether or not this new love is going to be similar to the past person that you were dealing with I do have the will card clarified by the 10 of pentacles. So I really feel like this is going to usher in some good changes as far as your foundation. This new person may actually provide you with a commitment that may be for some of you guys um stable for others of you there may be a shift and there may be a commitment that you guys may get into, but somebody is needing to open up. And it looks like it may be you guys because this is earth energy or you could be dealing with another earth sign. But um, needing to open up, also needing to save up and get your finances in a better place. And not really dealing with mind games also is going to be your best bet or anybody that you know is playing mind games. So whether or not this relationship will make you feel safe or secure, I do have the Hierophant and the Empress. So honestly, guys, for some of you guys with this new relationship that may come in for you, you may have a chance to grow in this. But again, the spiritual beliefs could be a big thing. Or some of you guys want things to be done traditionally. You want things to be done right. Um, so there may be issues with somebody's finances, though, at the time, at the moment. And that may be causing a blockage. And causing issues with you feeling safe and secure. But... I feel like you guys have the chance to actually step into a new relationship. You just have to weigh some things out or gain balance within this situation more than anything. So what I'm seeing for whether or not this person or whether or not you'll be in a committed relationship, I do have the five of chalices clarified by the ace of cups. So again, you guys are really sad about something that did not work out in the past that you're unable to really look at some new opportunities, a new relationship, a new partnership that is right behind you. You're sulking over what didn't work out. But there is a new emotional offer right here. So it's a matter of you stepping out of that energy and stepping into this new energy as far as even just getting that emotional strength to just be better okay but yeah some of you guys are trying to reconcile with somebody uh is there marriage possibilities within this relationship i have the ace of swords clarified by the four of pentacles so you need the mental clarity. You may also need to communicate with somebody who you may not be opening up to, especially if it's somebody who you have kids with or somebody who may be from your past for some of you guys, or maybe a soulmate connection, um, somebody who you're not happy with. It may be a Leo. Um, but yeah, you, you honestly, you need to either cut somebody off or you need to like clarify some things with somebody who you feel like you don't know enough information about or for some of you guys you're waiting for something to come to light that's what i heard but yeah 
Will the relationship be long-lasting and fruitful? I do have the Six of Pentacles clarified by the King of Pentacles. So needing to have that equal give and take within this relationship is going to be very important. There may be issues with that. Somebody's giving more of their time to somebody else. Also, somebody could be, you know, feeling like they have to be in a situation because they just have to be. Um, and because of that, I just feel like you guys need to stand in your power and really just be truthful with yourself and look at the situation for what it really is, not in an emotional aspect, which I don't feel like you guys kind of do that. You guys are very logical. Um, but yeah, cutting people off and starting over new. Okay. So last card, uh, what can be done to find true and long lasting love? I do have the two of swords clarified by the three of cups. So making some sort of decision, like I said, some of you guys are really clashing internally with your emotional world and your mental world, or you're having issues with seeing somebody else's perspective when it comes to this relationship. Um, but I feel as if you do need to, for some of you guys, whoever you're dealing with, Or whoever you deal with in the future, you need to make sure that you're not dealing with people who just want to party or have multiple people in the connection and just making you feel very unhappy about some things. So you need to make sure that you're putting yourself first and that you are gaining the strength to push forward and be resilient and making sure that you are asking the right questions when it comes to the spouses that you may be attracting. Okay, because... Yeah, I feel like some of you guys are really going to have to turn your back on some things that just do not serve you. And, you know, that's going to help you, like, push forward. You need to look towards the future, though, and be hopeful and making sure, again, that you are getting the information from whoever you may be dealing with in the future so that you really know who you're dealing with, okay? And then that'll help you make decisions moving forward in the future. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and see what advice I can give you guys, or I just gave you the advice. So that's going to conclude this reading. I really hope that my Capricorns were able to take something from this reading. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to my other channel, Galactic Goddess TV, where we drop knowledge on lifestyle and love advice. It's like an extension of this channel, except without cards. <laughs> but yes, thank you guys so much. Everything that you need will be listed below, and I'll see you Capricorns later. Bye, guys.